Today we're going to be preparing a fossil lobster. In a previous video we showed preparing ammonites and some crinoid. This time we've got something quite a bit different. Fossil lobsters are very rare. We have one other that we've prepared in the past and that we've got that over here. So you can see its body and legs. And there would have been claws up here, but the claws have worn away. And this one's also been prepared from the reverse side. This one's pretty chunky, really 3D. Usually the lobsters aren't, aren't as 3D as this. I'm going to show the nodule now that we're about to prepare. Hopefully it contains a lobster just as nice as the one we've just shown. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Here's a look at another couple of nodules which also contain fossil lobsters. We initially just split these thinking they would contain an ammonite. Pretty surprisingly, contained some lobster specimens. As with the others, you can see the body few nice legs and a couple of the claws so we have to decide whether to leave it as a stone that you can just open up and see the specimen sat inside it or whether to glue it back together and fully prepare it out it'd be very difficult to and it looks pretty impressive either way you would display it so we're not really sure what to do and this one as well is is very similar so again we just well this one had a thin crack all the way around it anyway so we just gave it a little tap with the hammer and it opened up to reveal another really really impressive lobster this one has uh, really well defined claws as well we've not found many lobsters at all over the years so we're very pleased with these and hopefully the one that we're about to prepare comes out something similar to one of these specimens
Here's the lobster, finally finished. Took quite a few hours to prepare it. Doesn't look too bad. It's a nice big size as well, usually nowhere near as this big. Comparing it to the other one, it's not as nice, but you can still have, but you can still see the same features. The two big legs, the front, and also some of the smaller legs and the body. So overall, it's turned out actually pretty good. I'm pleased with this. It's going to look very nice in the collection.